This spring, SunTrain was proud to host our 2024 Investor Week. Located at the San Francisco Bay Railway, SunTrain is proud to be a startup that has invested into its physical infrastructure. We are proud to show off our unique sustainable battery rail car infrastructure transparently to our investors. During the week, we walked investors and stakeholders through the different parts of our operations, both looking at our rail car mounted systems and our permanent structures like our solar farm and discharging stations. Working with the Bay Railway, we were able to show off all parts of our operations to visitors in action, moving and handling our battery rail car, charging it with our solar farm, and featuring some new prototypes for autonomously connecting our cars to the grid rapidly. For the rest of this video, let's walk through parts of our operation to show you the progress that we've made on our systems. Our president and CTO of SunTrain, Chris Smith, will show us some of the investments that we have made and some of the critical design choices that makes our infrastructure incredibly safe and robust. The main operation here is using the solar array that's adjacent to this rail yard to charge this battery system that's on an 89 foot articulated flatbed. This is our test bed system. So as we're proving the concept, it's about a one megawatt hour battery, about 750 kilowatt hours is the usable amount of energy. And what we're proving is that you can generate electrons in one region, store them on a battery based uh, rail car, and then move the rail car to other places where there are energy congestion or energy issues. So this solar array connects this battery system by day the battery charges and then when we have demonstrations or other events we roll this battery rail car to a place like the port of oakland the port of los angeles the port of long beach uh, an mhx yard as hosted by union pacific uh, and this is where we gather our data do experiments as we're looking to scale this operation we took the panels off of this one so that we can show what the battery packs behind it look like it's a relatively simple uh, procedure. You pack the containers as full as you can. Of course, you have to have all your safety systems, your fire suppression, your SCADA, your data monitoring, uh, everything else. But behind the scenes, you have strings of batteries that work in conjunction together to store very large amounts of electrical energy. Uh, as mentioned earlier, this current battery is about nominal usable amount of energy of 750 kilowatt hours. But using this same container size, we can fit 5.6 megawatt hours in here if we fully kitted it out. So when everything's all put together, these just look like relatively standard server racks. This particular door actors are human uh, interface where we can control the system from an analog perspective. We can also control this system remotely through telemetry systems as well as there's an additional analog system that I can control through my laptop. Uh, that is looking for all sorts of problems, temperature anomalies, combustible, combustible gas, even particular gases that would uh, be first seen uh, if there was a failure in any part of the battery, automatically would automate and do all the systems from fire suppression piece, but also opening all the circuits on this so that there is no more electricity flowing through. But this is a, a level three charging station. It's just another one of our uh, pieces of infrastructure that we use during our demonstrations. Um, we can have four level two chargers on the other side. We can have a level three on this side. In fact, we even have some components in here that will allow us to use generator cam lock cables to come out so that we can hook up the other loads like buildings or uh, temporary power networks that are uh, close to the rail line so that we can power anything from uh, other battery systems to buildings to uh, really anything that can receive can uh, generator cam lock cables. We also have these two HVAC systems up here and we're doing rapid charging or discharging. These systems will get warm. They perform more efficiently, uh, obviously when they're cool. Luckily we're using an iron phosphate chemistry, which is not particularly sensitive to heat or extreme cold. It's also an incredibly safe chemistry. Another part of our water systems is actually this industrial dehumidifier here. When we don't have trains present or when our batteries from our train system is full, we use the excess energy uh, to run an industrial dehumidifier. This industrial dehumidifier pulls water right out of the air 
and then we can use that to directly irrigate or we can also store that in our cistern. This is a large 480 volt industrial dehumidifier. My understanding is that it does about 12 gallons of water every hour. It doesn't sound like much, but if you're running these things for eight or 10 hours a day, you can pull insignificant amounts of water. This spring, everyone here at SunTrain enjoyed showing the progress that we've made on providing a unique energy transportation technology. We are thankful for our investors and look forward to showing off the continuous progress of our operations. Our battery rail car prototype is a small but crucial step in the process of providing a new energy transportation technology for a sustainable future.